What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, sadly, I wish I could be recording a different style video where I'm saying that I passed my entrance exam to CBSA because as I've shared recently in a few videos now, that is what I want to do for a career. That's what I was pushing towards. And I actually submitted my application. Two weeks later, I got selected to take their entrance exam. And it took about a month later, because that's when they're having their entrance exam, for me to take it. So I thought, great, I'm going into a career really quick. I'm going to do this entrance exam. I'm going to do everything I need, and I'll be able to go into CBSA. Unfortunately, I'm not making that video today sharing that I passed the exam because I didn't, which sucks. And... I'm kind of devastated um, because I was really pushing towards going into CBSA. I mean, that's what I wanted to do for a career. And the fact that I failed and how I failed was upsetting. But to me, it's keeping me, I'm basically keeping uh, positive. I uh, know what to expect next time when I take the exam. And I'm sure next time I'll focus on what parts I failed on. I'll focus on them a little bit longer to make sure I get the right answer. So today I'm basically going to be sharing how I failed the exam, what to expect, some tips when you're taking the exam that will help you along the way. Even though I failed, I can still share some of the tips because there's some things that I wasn't expecting and I'm glad that I caught on to them while taking the exam really quick and certain things like that. So that's what I'm going to be sharing in this video. So first of all, how I failed the exam. So the exam is 132 multiple choice questions, which is a lot uh, in a way. And some of the questions actually take you a little bit longer than you'd expect. Yes, they are multiple choice, but a lot of the questions make you think. So that's why even though 132 questions doesn't sound like a lot, it takes the almost full time to do it because there's a lot going on. There's a lot that you have to remember for each question. There's a lot of stuff going on. So tip number one would be to just take your time with the exam. You have two and a half hours to complete the exam, which 132 multiple choice questions sounds like a lot of time, but in reality it isn't because some of the questions take time to do. So I'd recommend just taking your time, making sure you go through each question, you know what you're talking about, you know what the question is actually asking you. So that's the first tip I would share. Now, how I failed is basically to me, this is something that I feel like they should be explaining in the email they sent when they tell you that you are selected to take the exam because they share certain tips in that email. But if they were to share how they grade the exam, it would have prepared me a little bit more for the exam. Now, that's why I'm sharing it with you now. So how they grade the exam is, it's not like a typical exam where you might have to get a 75% on the whole exam. And if you beat, if you pass the whole exam with a 75, you pass the exam. It's not like that with CBSA. They break the exam down into four parts and each part you have to pass with a 60%. So when I got my results, I passed one with a 90, one with an 80, one with a 60, but the last one, I only got a 50. So because on the last parts that, cause they broke it down into four parts, the last part I got a 50, that means I failed the entire exam. And when I totaled up my uh, results, in total, if they graded the exam as a whole, I would have been near the 75% mark, so I would have passed. But because they broke it down into four parts, you fail one of those parts, you fail the entire exam. So I do want to mention that because if I would have known that ahead of time, I would have went and took a different approach for the exam because while taking the exam, I knew some of the parts I was doing really good on and I ended up getting a 90 and an 80 on the ones I thought I was doing good on. But I was struggling on one of the other parts and I figured they were grading it as a whole. So I wasn't too concerned if I failed one section, but if I would have known that ahead of time, I would have still tried to do a lot better on those sections that I knew I wasn't doing that great on. So that kind of sucks that I wasn't told that in advance. I thought it was like a normal exam, but it is not. So I do just want to mention that just so you can go, if you're going to be taking the exam, they're grading it as four different sections. You fail one, you fail the entire exam. If you were to fail like me, 
it's not the end of the world. You're not kicked out of the CBSA application uh, in total. You are for that selection period, but you can retake the exam in one year time. So this time next year, I'll be able to retake the exam. And now that I know what I know about the exam, I'll hopefully be able to pass. The next thing I want to mention for a tip will be don't have any application on your laptop open other than the exam. That's uh, email, Microsoft Word, anything like that. Just keep your internet browser open. The internet browser I would choose would be um, Chrome because that's what I used and it worked. They specify in the email which ones will not accept the program and you will experience problems if you use them. But I would recommend just uh, Google Chrome. The other thing would be don't have any other browsers open. Don't have Facebook, YouTube, Google, or anything else open. It should just be the tab that has the exam on it because they specify that anything else could automatically just shut down the exam. So just as a precaution to myself, I decided I'm just going to have the exam open and take the exam. I Another tip for me would be don't have any distractions. Be in a quiet place. Be alone by yourself taking the exam. Don't listen to music. I was attempting that because usually for me, when I'm listening to music, I can concentrate better. For this exam, it had the complete opposite effect for me and I wasn't able to concentrate whatsoever taking this exam. About 10, 15 questions in, I had to turn off my music just because I wasn't able to focus on the exam because the exam really makes you think. And I didn't think it was gonna be this hard of an, of an exam, but it really is. So those were some of my tips uh, for the CBSA entrance exam. Those are some of the things to expect. Like I said, take your time. If you, if you struggle during the exam, if you get stuck on one question, don't sit there looking at that question, trying to figure it out for too long. There is a button nearing the question that you can click on and it says review later or something along those lines. And at the end of the exam, you have the option to either just submit your exam, which I wouldn't recommend doing if you missed some questions, or you can go and click on those that you wanted to review. And usually by you reading the question later, like passing it and going back to it later, reading it a second time, you understand it a little bit more and it might help you find the right answer for the question. So I can't go into specifics on questions. I can't go into specifics on answers for the exam because that will risk my application and I could get kicked out of CBSA completely if I were to do that. So that's why there's no answers in this video. I'm not sharing any of the questions in this video of what to expect because it's not worth it to me to just make a video sharing that and getting kicked out of what I want to do for a career. So this is just a couple tips of uh, what to expect during your exam. This is me sharing that I failed my exam, but for me, it's not the end of the world. I'm staying positive. I have a backup plan right now, which is security guard, which I did before going through for CBSA. I got my security guard license. So now that I got my truck, I am looking for security guard work, which is nice, which means I basically get a year to relax. I'm going to be looking for work as a security guard, but I felt like in a way this is a good thing me failing the entrance exam first time because now I know what to expect taking the exam next time around next this time next year um I feel like I was going too fast I was trying to get everything done for CBSA and I wasn't having time for myself I wasn't having time to do anything that I like to do so now this makes me I don't know, be able to find a job as a security guard, number one. Take time for myself, um, take care of myself, do different things like that. So I guess at the end of the day, it is a good thing, but I'm still keeping positive. And I know this time next year, I am going to be taking the exam for the second time. And I'm sure next time I'll be able to pass now that I know what to expect, especially now that I know how they're grading the exam. I think that is the most important thing because if I had known that, they're going to break the exam into four parts. And if you fail one of the parts, you have to, uh, you, you'll fail the whole exam. If I would have known that going into the exam, if they would have shared that with me, I am sure I would have passed this exam because I know the part that was, I was struggling on. 
And I just assumed that it's like a normal exam, you pass with a total mark. And since I knew or thought I did really well on two parts, which I ended up when I got the results, I did really well on them. But the part that I really was struggling with, I failed and that resulted in me failing the whole exam. So if I had known that, I think I would have done better. I would have spent more time on the part that I was struggling with, but it is what I did. It is what it is for the future for me, uh, for CBSA, it's on hold right now which sucks personally, but it does make me open my eyes and realize I'm glad I have a backup plan security guard right now. So in the meantime, while I wait to retake my entrance exam, and then once I retake the entrance exam, if I pass, that means I have to start doing the stuff for the selection process, which may take up to a year to complete. So this gives me about two years to reflect on myself, prepare, um, get more in shape so I can do all the physical stuff for CBSA. So that's what I plan on doing this summer. But yeah, to me, it is sad that I failed the CBSA exam. I really was wishing to start my career sooner and to have this huge roadblock in my way now where I failed the exam. And the day I found out, I was like, crap, I was really upset, really emotional. I'm like, what am I going to do now? Like I have nothing. And I'm like, well, I have my truck now. I can look for security guards. That was my backup plan to begin with. I'll be able to work security guard in the meantime. I'll be able to do a lot more things, you know, in, in the area, take care of myself mentally, especially. So I guess it's not all bad. Um, I will be keeping positive. I know I'm still going to be going for CBSA. I know I want that for my career. I already made that video. That video is almost at a thousand views now, which will be my third video to reach over a thousand views on this channel, which I'm happy for. But like I said, when I started this journey with my security guard, and then when I'm going into CBSA, I wanted to share my journey with you guys. And that's why I'm making this video, even though I'm failing and it's, I, I failed the exam and it is, um, not good news. And it's like, well, why are you sharing that you failed it? Because I want to share my journey with you guys, just in case there's anybody else that is going along this journey as well, which I've already heard from numerous people that, uh, are, say they're going into CBSA and these videos are kind of helping them. I'm really happy to do that. So, um, it, to me also keeps me motivated and keeps me focused on CBSA. Even though I did fail, I'm gonna retake it next year, hopefully gonna pass, get everything else planned for it. So I'm not giving up on CBSA, even though I failed, which some people do, I'm gonna be just going for it. I'm gonna be trying my best, I'm gonna be focused for it. And by me making this video, sharing that I failed the exam, it's gonna keep me accountable for next year so I can retake the exam, so I can pass the exam. I did take my firearms license preparing for CBSA. It's good for five years, thankfully, but I did get my firearms license. So I think in a couple months, I'm gonna share that video with you guys. Um, I'm just talking about the Canadian firearms program, what to expect, different things like that. But I hope you guys do like this mini series sharing my CBSA journey, even though I did fail. Um, but I hope you guys do like that. So comment down below. If this is helping you, if you are in the process for CBSA, comment down below if you did pass. It was a really hard exam, but it is what it is. I'm keeping motivated. I'm keeping positive. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.